Hey everyone, and thanks for jumping back into the Cryptoverse. Today, we're gonna to talk about Bitcoin, and we're gonna be putting back on our on-chain analysis hat, and we're gonna be looking at supply count statistics, namely, who is accumulating during this phase. If you guys like the content, make sure you subscribe to the channel, give the video a thumbs up, and if you wanna get access to these charts and a whole lot more, make sure you check out the sale on the premium list. That sale is going to end in less than two weeks, so you can lock in the lower rate as long as you do not cancel. This is the supply count statistics where we're denominating it in terms of Bitcoin rather than U.S. dollars. The first thing I want to look at, we're just going to sort of go through who is accumulating right now. Again, the on-chain data can be a little bit, a little bit funky because it doesn't necessarily mean anything specific. If someone transferred Bitcoin from one wallet to another, it doesn't necessarily mean that they're selling. It could just mean they're transferring it to another one of their wallets. Maybe they're sending it from, you know, or maybe they're sort of spreading out their risk amongst different wallets. So it's really hard to know. But if we if we just look at this, we can kind of get an idea in general of of the the supply being held by addresses with certain amounts of Bitcoin. And if you look at at it with say addresses that hold less than 0.001 Bitcoin, you can see that it is slightly moving higher at the current time but it's more or less just been sideways for the last several months after being in an uptrend for for quite a long period of time. That, you know, wallet sizes that small aren't necessarily that important, I think. I mean, 0 0.001 Bitcoin, uh, or it's really less than 0 0.001 Bitcoin. So you're not really talking about um, really serious investors um, at that point, because I mean, like if, if Bitcoin's currently at 47,000 or, or, you know, just below 47,000, I mean, one tenth of a Bitcoin would be forty seven hundred. Um, so you're, you're talking about just like, you know, forty seven dollars essentially worth of, of Bitcoin just to just to get into that bracket. So I'm not I don't think we should spend a lot of time on that one. But if you look at, as say, between, say, 0 0.001 Bitcoin to 0 0.01 Bitcoin, you'll see that, you know, it, it tends to be. Uh, in an uptrend at the current time, but it also sort of is always in an uptrend to some degree, except for major peaks like we saw back in, in early 2018. You can see this came down for a long time and went sideways for a while before ultimately trending higher. We've just continued sort of trending higher even through what happened in November. Continuing on, if we look at 0.01 to 0.1 Bitcoin, still an uptrend, which is somewhat different from what we saw again back during the last cycle. You can see that we sort of came up and then we had this massive sell-off um, and then we, we continue trending higher. This time, we did see a little bit of a push back down over here during this uh, distribution phase, but then ultimately, it's just been continuing moving higher. And recently, you know, it really started to accelerate, and it's still moving moving higher as we, as we, as we speak. If you look at 0.1 to 1 Bitcoin, the supply there, you can also see that it's moving higher as well. So the supply of Bitcoin held by addresses holding between 0.1 to 1 Bitcoin is moving higher. So we're sort of getting in, you know, into the mind of, of various types of investors, right? Some investors who have more Bitcoin, some who have left, who have less. And then we're seeing, are they adding to their stacks or not? Remember, sometimes one could go down just because another one's going up and, a, and an investor is getting to a new threshold. So now their stack is denominated in a higher threshold than, than before. 1 to 10 Bitcoin addresses holding that. Is that also increasing? It is. I mean, even from February 1st, you can see the supply held by this group was at 1.69 million, whereas today it's actually at around 1.73 million Bitcoin. So it's moved higher even over the last couple of months or so. If we continue moving up, if you look to 10 to 100 Bitcoin, you can see that it has not really been moving higher, but it hasn't really moved higher in a long time. In fact, even since 2017, 2018, you know, it was more or less sideways until the distribution phase of early 2021, where it went down. And then it's just been going sideways again. I think one of the ways to think about it is that as the price of Bitcoin continues to go higher, it's just going to be harder and harder for people to accumulate 10 to 100 Bitcoin. I mean, to, you know, to get 10 Bitcoin today, you're talking about having nearly half a million dollars in Bitcoin. So this is a, a very difficult category for a lot of people to get in. And, and it's going to become more and more difficult. So you might not even really see this one go up that much in the future um, as much as it has in the past. It might just be sort of sideways for a long time. And then it goes down as more and more Bitcoin gets distributed among, among more and more people. If you look at 100 to 1,000 Bitcoin, this one's somewhat interesting because it actually did go up during this phase over here. Um, you know, it could be, could be institutions. I mean, it could just be larger wallets consolidating into smaller wallets. But also one of the things to note is that it hasn't done anything of consequence since then.
Okay, so perhaps if you are looking for a sustained leg higher at some point, um, you know, it might be nice to see this one moving up as well. Continuing on to 1,000 to 10,000 Bitcoin, that one's also been going sideways. It is at least different from the distribution phase that we saw back in, in March and April and May of 2021, where it was in a downtrend. Also note that it went in a sharp, up, sharp uptrend during the capitulation of December of 2018. Right now, it's more or less humdrum, right? I mean, not, not, not a whole lot's going on in the market. I mean, I know we're somewhat... We're somewhat feeling the FOMO from a $46,000, $47,000 Bitcoin. We've, Bitcoin's been at this price for a, a lot over the last year or so, okay? This isn't really a new price. Continuing on to 10000 to 100000 Bitcoin, I mean, you're really getting into exchange, you know, exchange territory and whatnot. But again, even here, it's just been going sideways for a while after this distribution phase in early 2021. Going to 100000 to a million Bitcoin, um, it, you know, it, it sort of actually went up a, a decent amount recently, but I do think to some degree it was just while it's shuffling, shuffling around some Bitcoin and then over a million Bitcoin, um, you can see it, it, it just goes away. So I, I think that, you know, the, the, the on-chain stuff on the channel, we like to provide it just to provide a different perspective on the market that you're not really going to see with some of the other stuff. Hopefully this provides some perspective on who is accumulating and who's not accumulating. And, and, you know, perhaps you'll, you'll help use this information to to better navigate the cryptoverse yourself if you guys like the content make sure you subscribe to the channel give the video a thumbs up check out the sell the premium list into the cryptoverse.com and remember to lock in the lower rate thank you guys for tuning in i'll see you next time bye